Hi again, I hope you've been having an amazing journey. I think this video is going to be very valuable and provide a lot of clarity about what we're doing. So it's a video about the focus levels. I think if we really understand them, it'll make it easier for us to know what to expect, to know if we achieve the focus level and to know if we're ready for the next one. In total, there are 49 focus levels. Get ready for number 49. So, but for number one, okay, focus level one is the state of everyday life. Like probably right now, as you're listening to this or watching this, and as I'm recording this, we are in focus one. That is the state of normal consciousness, normal awareness. And then there's focus three. Focus three is a state of feeling calm and in a meditative state in a, in, and feeling, feeling physically relaxed. Personally, I feel that focus level after I do the resonant energy balloon. It also happens while I'm doing the countdown to reach focus 10. So, you know, in the pre preliminary steps of every tape, that's when you're supposed to feel focus three. And it's important to feel it before moving on to focus 10. So there's no problem rewinding the tape or taking your time to make sure you get into that state. Now, and then there's focus level 10, one of my favorite. Focus level 10 is the state of increased uh, awareness and clarity of thought. It is a feeling where the, the main thing of focus 10 is the feeling of having the body asleep, mind awake. So you feel like your body is like paralyzed, but you are aware of your surroundings, you are aware of where you are. You are aware of what's going on. Focus level 10 is a state where we have clarity of thought and where we feel like we are an observer of our thoughts rather than us having those thoughts, we are observing them. It's a really cool state to think, to, to take a step back, to have better awareness and clarity about a situation. So I love this focus level. Now focus level 12 is the state of expanded awareness and increased uh, perception. It's a state that we can use to enter other dimensions, not fully. It's difficult to explain. This state is where we can contact entities, non-physical entities from other dimensions. But it's hard to enter their dimensions, but we can contact them and communicate with them. You can have a full conversation with someone in Focus 12. So Focus 12 is where we have a feeling like we're floating. It's, the, it's also the focus level for problem solving, creative thinking, and to receive new information that we don't usually have access to in Focus 1. So there's many things we can do with Focus 12. Focus 12 is very powerful. I'm in Wave 4 and I'm still using, we still use Focus 12. Even though we start Focus 12 in Wave 2, it's still a regular part of the next waves, the next tapes. Focus Level 15, the state of no time. In this state, time doesn't exist. We develop a new perception of things without thinking about time. In this state, we understand how time influences our perception. So, in this state, we develop a new perception. We can access knowledge beyond our limitations. In this state, we are transcending the limitations of everyday life. So it's really exciting. It's very powerful. Focus level 21. This is probably the one that I'm most excited about. Focus 21 is where we can access other dimensions. It's the door to other dimensions. For me, this is very exciting because I already had some very intense and real experiences. And I think now with, with Focus 21, it'll be even 
more crazy. It would be like having two lives at the same time. The one here, like focus one, and then this other life where we, we have more freedom and new experiences. So focus 21, I'm so excited about that. So focus 22 to focus 26. I didn't want to talk about these. I'm not really interested in them and I'm kind of worried because I think we have to do it if we want to move on to the next focus levels. But uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to mention it, but it's not something that I'm interested in. I'm going to try and speak with people that finished all the focus levels and try to see if there's a way to skip it or maybe understand why we need these focus levels. So I'll quickly mention it. Focus 22 to 26 are the focus levels where we can see near-death experiences. And if someone is having a near-death experience, we can access that in real time and provide some sort of message or guidance to that person at that moment. I, I don't know what to make of it, honestly. I don't know why we need to know this. But maybe Focus 27 explains it a bit more. Focus 27 is where it's, it's known as the park, the reception center, the lobby of people who just passed away or people who, like us, have certain powers to access these realms, these other dimensions. It's an opportunity for these people that recently passed away who were there to take a breath, think about what just happened and provide guidance for themselves about their next steps. And it's where us, people who reach Focus 27 are still alive, we can communicate with them. We can be there and we can provide more guidance and real support and actually have conversations with them. They probably have a thousand questions. So it's probably up to us to really like guide them. The next focus levels that I'm going to mention are for the elite. They are incredible, but they are difficult. But I really believe that together we can do it. We can reach them. I, I, I've learned a lot from many of you, and I think many of you also grew. And I think that we can really help each other to make sure we can reach these higher states. So focus 34 to 35, known as the gathering. These two focus levels are where non-physical entities and intelligence meet to discuss important events that can affect the earth. So if something big is going to happen, these people think of it like, you know, in the movie like The Avengers, when they have that meeting about a big event that just happened and what to do. It's kind of the same thing. We meet, we discuss what is about to happen, and, and we figure out if it's the best thing to happen or what we can do to make it better. So that is so interesting. And I really think it's possible. I've seen this. I've heard about it before. I've even seen visuals and some people explaining this experience and it sounded so, it was very detailed, it sounded so real. So I am very excited about this. Focus level 42. This one is crazy. This is the state where we access advanced knowledge. Knowledge very, very deep and useful and smart. Example, this is where we meet the masters and that's where they can give us real deep advanced information it could be information such as about the universe about something specific about how to do something you didn't know how to do before <clears throat> but this one is crazy it's the reason why kind of it, it works is because this is where people who reach the stage they share all the knowledge they have and they make like a pool of knowledge that everyone in that focus level can access. So you have access to information from people who are at very deep, high states, high levels of consciousness. So that's crazy. Focus level 49. This is the most exciting, the most powerful and the most incredible focus level. It's I think it's the last focus level. I cannot confirm that because we don't know what Monroe 
and co haven't shared with us or maybe their focus level is that we can only know when we reach that point but it seems like this is the point where wow all that hard work was for this like it was worth it all this hard work that we're doing with all the waves it looks like it's worth it this focus 49 represents the connection to the source a connection and a unity with all existence for the people that did reach this focus level they describe it as being the focus level of eternal bliss eternal wisdom eternal understanding it's the state where they say all questions are answered and all worries are fixed it's the stage of transcendence and enlightenment this focus level is known as the pinnacle the peak of spiritual spiritual and conscious evolution it's a stage where we merge with the internal eternal and infinite nature of the cosmos so all of this is so exciting and interesting and i know that it's going to be difficult to reach focus level 49 but i really believe that together we can do it we learn a lot from each other i've learned a lot from you guys that made me much better and have better more real experiences so it's very motivating and inspiring because there's big things to come it already started i'm very excited and let me know what you think and also let me know if you have any thoughts about focus level 22 and 26 because I don't know about those, but every other focus level is so exciting. So I'm looking forward to it, and I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Bye.